All right, this video is for Maya Kurzaki. Um and she's she says she's having some problems with her uh, color and how to how to improve it. Now, uh the first thing that I would say right off the bat um is when you're working with color, the the worst thing that you can do is use a front flash photography. Um and the idea of that is really quickly is a front flash. I'm just going to show you kind of real quick roughly so if you have front flash photography you're going to get a flash like this and so all your 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 bat uh your lighting is coming from this direction here whereas if you don't use the flash and use natural lighting and things like that you're going to get a much more interesting concept so you're going to get your light coming from the sides and then with natural light, because it's ambient, you might even get a little bit of a rim light going on. So it's going to be much more interesting. And I think that's the, the initial thing is we use references and things like that that don't give us the, the, photo the, the lighting that we want. And the lighting is, severely affects the colors. So um, with that being said, the one thing that I would do right off the bat is let's define a light source. So if you have a light source, um, I'm just going to pick your bright color here. Uh, let's see, you can go brighter here. So you've got your light source coming from upper and it looks like upper front right. So we'll just kind of put this note in here. Um, and then what I'm going to do is with that defined, with that idea in place, then I want to show you a trick. So if you've got your, your hair, looking at your hair, um, you've got mid-tone, you've got your darks, and you've got your lights. And now notice how the hue never really changed that much at all. So if we add in a different hue, so this is definitely warm, so I'm going to add in an opposite hue, which is my blue, and I'm just going to show you with a multiply layer. So I'm going to really quickly, and I'm going to, you can see how blue it is right now. And I'm going to just put this to a blue. And so do you see with this concept here, um, I'm just really quickly, roughly painting in this blue. And I'm getting a, a much more interesting concept. Now, the blue that I'm using is probably a little bit too saturated. But I can always go into the hue and saturation uh, menu and just one lower the brightness and two lower the saturation on it a little bit until it fits what I need. And then I'm going to just go grab that color again, back to multiply. And so as you can see, by adding in a tonal value of light, like so, it's starting to push my color value. All right. And so you can see that by doing this, I'm getting a, a lot more contrast in my color and tonal values. All right. I'm just kind of roughing this in here. softer here okay and so do you, you can see really quickly how fast that kind of sells itself like so all right now once that's in there once that that hue is in there, then you want to add the color of the light. So if our light is white, um, you're going to get a little bit more bright tones. But if we change this to like a bright yellow, I'm just going to go and add a screen layer here. But if I go in and accent let's that.
and you can see how by accenting some of these colors in there, some of these highlights, I'm getting a much more higher value range. Um, and we can even let's kind of push this here, push a little bit here, push a little bit on the chin. Um, things like that are going to kind of help you a little bit. Um, so even a yellower, there we go, just a little bit yellow, especially on the whites here, we can kind of push that those values in a little bit more even too. Um, so now with this kind of set to go, you've got, you can see the variation between the two. And even though this is very rough and very, very uh, drastic, as far as, you know, I'm using a large brush just to block in color, uh, you're still getting that concept going on. The other thing is, look at your background too. Um, with the background here, you've got, I'm just going to grab... Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can just do this. Select color range. Uh, we're going to and we're just going to do something like that. And so, really quickly, just grab some of this in there. There we go. Okay, so with this color range, if I go and do a hue saturation change, now because she is mainly a warm tone, you've got warm in the back. And so by simply changing that value aspect um, to something cooler, and like so, you can see already she pops out a lot more because you're getting more of that blue opposite contrast going on. And it mixes with the shadows a little bit better. And so those are things that you want to do to kind of adjust and fix your color. Um, it sounds, you know, it sounds uh, very basic, but really paying attention to your color schemes uh, makes a huge difference when you're, you're, you're sorting out your ideas. Um, I'm just going to really quickly kind of rough some of these in while I'm talking. Um, but you can see that just these simple everyday concepts are really pushing your value range. Um, and I can go in here and add in the darks. And that's going to really help push the form as well. Um, and adding in like just different shadows. Um, from a defined range, a little bit underneath. Let's go and erase some of this here. Um, but that's really going to push your, your color depth and your color value. And then if you want more interesting concepts on top of that, what I would tell you to do is on the top part, oops, I don't want to move that, um, is on the top part, you want to add in little bits of uh, like speckles, um, let me see if I can find my skin brushes here. Here we go. Um, so we can add in a little bit of speckle in there, especially around the breast and the high, high contrast areas, um, to give you a little bit more sense of depth in your your texturing and things like that so i hope that helps you out all right